What's up guys, welcome back. It is Thursday evening, more non-league action tonight, again featuring Dunstable Town, um, but this time it is a home fixture uh, against Gosport Borough FC in the Southern League Premier Division. Uh, massive, massive game, probably the biggest game of the season um, that I've attended so far, because Dunstable Town still second from bottom, uh, Gosport Borough are bottom of uh, the Southern um, Premier Division and uh, both teams desperate for this win tonight so I'm not sure if uh, if Gosport are going to be bringing a big crowd or not but uh, it's going to be quite um, quite a feisty affair I reckon um, the uh, the game on Tuesday night if you didn't see that check back at the last video that, uh, that I uploaded with Luke Dunstable Town uh, one two nil and it was uh, vital three points that they earned in that game. They're going to be looking for much of the same tonight. So uh, Dunstable Town at Creasy Park. It's um, <clears throat> probably about just over half hour away from me now. So uh, I am on my way, going to meet Luke there again. See you soon. Just about to get the game underway. Uh, Dunstable Town in the white and blue, and uh, Gosport Borough in the what colour is that? Yellowish. Yellowish. Yellowish and dark blue. About five minutes in, uh, corner ball to Gosport. A little bit of early pressure on the uh, Dunstable defensive line there. Go on, Luke. Take a touch. Oh, it's a good throw. Good throw. Solid. Ash Luke. Go on, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. There's nothing going on. Eat your burger. Eat your burger. In your burger. Got myself some cheesy chips and a hot chocolate. Only £3.50, but it took seven hours to cook, which was unfortunate. And there's Luke and his best friend. Gosport on the attack. Probably one of my favourite club badges at the moment in the league. That lad on the ball there, I'm sure I've seen him playing international rugby before. He is massive. Oh, across the face of the goal, but no one there to meet it. Look at that old man tooled up already. So it's half time here at Creasy Park, uh, nil nil. It's not been a bad game, there's been uh, a few chances for both teams. Probably more for the Gosport lads, I think, um, but not um, not managed to capitalise on any of it. So still nil nil. All of the uh, Gosport fans are now making their way down to the goal uh, at the other end, and there they go now. Any of them going to wave? Anyone want to wave? No, no, no one wants to wave. Referee gets second half underway, and Luke has not stopped moaning about how cold he is. Freezing, absolutely bitter. No one there. Should have. Oh, clash your heads. He's taking it like a man, though. Getting straight back up. You would not see that in the Premiership. You're down for five minutes then. Oh. 
about 65 minutes gone. Corner ball to Gosport on the right hand side over here. It's exciting, isn't it? Come on, kick it. I started recording too early. I think real vloggers would cut this out. This is why I didn't get nominated for any awards this year, Luke. Is he going to kick it? No, he's referee's melee area. There's no melee, it's alright. A little bit of and shoving, they'll be fine. Go on, kick it! Kick it! Kick it! He's going to kick it. Oh, I don't know if this is worth it. Oh, it's whipping back in. Keep his hands. Beautiful. 48 seconds of awesome vlogging, that was. Oh, Gosport have just taken the lead. It's about 70, 75 minutes gone. A little bit of pinball in the uh, Dunstable end. Couldn't clear it. And, uh, and someone's brought a bell out. So it's Dunstable nil, Gosport won, and that puts them even on points at the moment. Uh, and only one, I think, behind on goal difference, possibly. Well, I may have just made that last statistic up, but definitely even on points at the moment. And that's a, uh, a second goal for Gosport now. Dunstable just don't want it for some reason when they've been attacking they've not been supporting each other they've just been going up in ones and twos and uh, their heads dropped after the first goal but Gosport have been battling hard to try and get themselves a second goal and and that's exactly what they've done level on points now and I think level on goal difference and uh, it's not looking too good for Dunstable right now Push for it? Go on, have it, have it. Feisty. Come on, finish it. It's a short corner taken by Dunstable, not capitalised. And that's the final whistle. Uh, not a very good result for Dunstable Town whatsoever puts them on uh, level points I think level on goal difference and all to play for now on uh, on Saturday when they travel I think away to Frome um, so yeah so back in the car now I don't know if you can see me actually um, congratulations to Gosport well deserved those uh, those three points there um, both teams very evenly matched in the first half. I suspect the game plan was to just keep it tight, don't concede a goal, but for some reason in the second half, um, Dunstable still didn't want it. And um, whenever they were on the attack, as I said before, they were only sending up one or two people. They weren't supporting each other, putting no pressure on the goalkeeper whatsoever. And uh, they got caught out. And um, as a result, ended up losing the match. So. Uh, all to play for on Saturday. It was, uh, you know, it, it was an enjoyable game to watch. Shame about the result as uh, as we were there supporting Dunstable this time round. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It's my birthday tomorrow, so that's got to be worth a click on the subscribe button. Isn't it? Um, I'll be covering more non-league games and uh, games from all over the country in the future. So. Um, make sure you do click on the uh, on the subscribe button. Till then, thank you very much for watching. Take care, later.